Buddhist Buddha baby. I'm really sorry that I can't be there right now. I'm working on a documentary with my community and uh, the schedules just did not align. Um, anyway, thank you so much to UBCP, to the Women's Committee um, for this incredible honor. Thank you to Byron Chief Moon for nominating me. Um, Byron is someone who I've looked up to for a very long time and who's mentored me and it means a lot that he thought to nominate me. Um, I also want to thank uh, others who've really inspired me over the years. Um, growing up there weren't a lot of uh, Indigenous women on screen, um, but Tantu Cardinal and Tina Keeper were, you know, people that I admired from a very young age. Um, North of 60 was something I was able to tune into every week with my family and being able to see someone like Tina Keeper on screen um, had a huge impact on me as a, as a young Indigenous girl. Um, seeing, you know, a, a healthy representation of Indigenous women um, meant a lot. Um, so thank you to Tantu and Tina and the many others who um, really trudged through a, a whole hell of a lot um, to get to where they are um, and to uh, create space for for other Indigenous performers. Um, that being said, uh, when I first moved out to Vancouver 15 years ago um, to pursue acting, I had big hopes and dreams and thought that anything was possible, um, but very quickly came to the understanding that there wasn't a lot of space for someone like me in the industry. Um, I can't imagine what Tantu and Tina and Byron's generation went through. Um, it was very frustrating to go out for so many auditions, um, for so many roles that were being written and directed by non-Indigenous people about Indigenous people, um, and that were essentially perpetuating very harmful stereotypes that um, actually impact Indigenous people's well-being. Um, and I would say you could connect the violence against Indigenous women to these um, damaging representations of Indigenous women on screen. So these stories do have an impact on, on people's lives. Uh, so yeah, after um, coming to that realization that there wasn't a lot of space for me, I made the heartbreaking decision to quit acting. Um, it's something I've done um, since I could speak. Uh, and I had always dreamed that I would have a career as an actor. Um, but ultimately decided to go back to school upon my, my grandma's um, suggestion. Uh, and while I was at UBC, I learned um, about, uh, you know, structural and systemic racism and sexism and um, how there is a long history of misrepresentation of Indigenous people and people of color in general on screen um, and how um, structural and systemic racism impacts every story we see on screen. Um, and so I learned how to operate a camera and how to, how to use editing software and decided to have a go um, and try and just make space for myself in this industry and to make space for other Indigenous people. Um, so that's how I first started making films. So thank, thank goodness I quit. I quit acting because I became a filmmaker. Um, but Eventually, I found my way back to acting, um, and I can say that so much has changed since I first started. Um, and that has largely to do with the fact that there's so many more Indigenous people behind the camera. Um, and I have so much gratitude to all of the Indigenous um, filmmakers who have pushed so hard for change for decades. Um, and we're finally seeing the results of that um, in the kinds of stories that, that, that are being put out into the world. That being said, we still have a long way to go. Um, I think that was made clear um, this last year with, uh, with the diversity and inclusion roundtables. Um, thank you to UBCP for hosting those roundtables and thank you to the organizers. Um, those kinds of conversations are vital to change. Um, and the work that we're doing, you know, it is political and these stories do have power. Um, and so thank you to UBCP for making space for those kinds of conversations to be had. Um, obviously, there's still so much work to do. You turn on um, any screen in Canada and you watch uh, Canadian television. And for the most part, you're still seeing um, 
predominantly white faces on screen. And we've done a lot in terms of gender parity. I think that's wonderful. Um, but we still have so much more work to do in terms of representation of uh, black, indigenous, and people of color um, on screen. And we also have a long ways to go in terms of representing LGBTQ2S and also um, uh, the disability community. Um, yeah, there's still so much work to do. Uh, but I, I am so grateful to be um, part of UBCP and ACTRA um, because I know that it's a, it's a union, it's an organization that supports um, change, that fights for change, um, and we just need to keep moving in this direction. Um, I really hope that 15 years from now, um, I'm not having to, you know, um, make the same sort of statements that so many others are having to make about the, the state of the industry. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, it honestly is a huge honor to receive this award. I was not expecting it at all. Um, and it's so wonderful to be recognized by my peers, um, particularly uh, as an actor.